Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Joy Chen. I am honored to be the moderator for this company demo session. With over 400 million students, China is one of the world's largest markets for education. While the ad tech market in China still has much room to improve, we have seen fast growth in ad tech industry in China. In the next 45 minutes, five companies from China will do their company demos. We hope by listening to their company demos, not only you will have a better understanding about their companies, but also hopefully they will help you take a closer look at the overall education market in China. Well, let's get started. The first company is Blue Elephant Capital, which is a leading ad tech VC in China. It has supported many ad tech startups during the past several years. I would like to ask Bill Ning, the founding partner of Blue Elephant Capital, to do the company demo. Hello, from friends from ASUGSV. Uh, uh, I, I am Bill from China. I'm the founding partner of uh, Blue Elephant Capital. Uh, we are basically uh, the first ad tech venture capital in China. We founded ourselves in 2015, and uh, at that time, we raised money from uh, top niche entrepreneurs in education industry in China. Uh, by far, we have raised money from uh, 50 plus of them, and we use the uh, Y Combinator mode to uh, invest early stage, usually the angel round. Air tech entrepreneurs. Uh, by far, we have invested 84 air tech startups in China. Uh, basically, we are the uh, leading air tech venture capital uh, in China. Our model is uh, very unique. Uh, we have four characteristics. One, we focus 100% on early stage. Uh, among the 84 ad tech startups, we are usually the first uh, investor. And then we use a standard investment investment model, uh, which means that we use the uh, standard valuation of 1.5 million US dollars. Uh, it's, it's very selective. Uh, normally we invest only about 3% of all the uh, applicants. Uh, and also we are the founders fund. All of our limited partners are from the education industry. Uh, they not only invest money in our fund, but they also uh, provide uh, resources and know-hows of the industry. Um, also we have a, a acceleration program for our portfolios. It's a three month program uh, which helps the founders to grow faster than their peers. Oh, this is the picture uh, we took with the uh, Y Combinator partner of uh, education, uh, Tim Brady uh, from Imagine K-12. As for the Blue Elephant Camp, we have uh, several sectors like the uh, the, 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 the most important one is the monthly workshops. Uh, we, we provide uh, intensive learning sessions for them to for product market fit, for growth, and for uh, next round of financing. Uh, beyond that, we, we have weekly sessions, we have one one office hours, and we also have a very unique uh, a session like private board meetings. Normally, the uh, startups do not have a board, uh, have a board, but we we have an uh, extensive network. So we asked our mentors, usually our limited partners, and uh, uh, early uh, portfolio CEOs to form a temporary board for the ad tech entrepreneurs, and uh, we only solve the most urgent problem usually the strategics ones for them. Uh, of course, we have demo day. Uh, basically, we are the, uh, the, the, the most welcome 
uh, attack uh, demo day in east in eastern globe usually we have 1. Point, well, 150 uh, attack vcs uh, in our demo day this is a, this is a, this is some of our uh, blue elephant camp pictures you can see uh, we have we have a lot of uh, uh, portfolio CEOs and the mem mentors uh, together together. Uh, let me give you a, a snapshot of our portfolio. Uh, by far, we have invested in eighty five of them, and uh, twenty uh, one of them uh, have a valuation of more than uh, fifty million U.S. dollars, and uh, uh, it's a little. It's amazing that we have a very high survival rate of 95%, and 65% uh, of our portfolio, portfolios have already got the next round of financing. Uh, as for our investment strategies, we focus on three sectors. One is that we call education consumption upgrade. We provide better education supply chain for consumers. The second one is uh, uh, for education uh, efficacy and equality, which means we provide uh, digitalization solutions for schools and, and training institutes. And we, as, as we are the uh, uh, one of the few ad tech only venture capital in China, we, we do invest in uh, strategically in uh, companies that provide uh, industry solutions for the company, like the headhunters, like the media. Uh, that that is uh, that which means that we we invest in almost every corner of the ad tech industry in China. Let me give you a few of our uh, leading portfolios. This is Hualala, uh, uh, which provide creative uh, kid art lessons online. Uh, it grows very fast and it now has a valuation of uh, uh, 200 million US dollars. And this is a uh, eBay boat, eBay bot. Uh, the, the, the founder was graduated from Carnegie Mellon and uh, now it, it provides uh, robotic lessons for uh, over 300 Chinese universities. And this is a uh, a learning social network called Timing. Now it's daily active user uh, just exceed one million. And this is Hex Future. Uh, this is the the, the best uh, classroom product used in in China. Of course, we have a relatively uh, good uh, investment uh, performance. Now we have. Uh, Blue Elephant Fund one and one to four. Uh, you can see that we have we have a very good uh, return. Uh, in our five years work, we have built our education ecosystems with limited partners and strategic partners, and also of course our portfolio companies. This is our uh, LP and advisor networks. Twelve of them are uh, founders of, of listed companies. Of course, they are highly notched. Uh, we 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 co-invest with many of the uh, top Chinese uh, capitals like Sequoia, like Metric China. And uh, uh, now we have a team of ten in China, and uh, uh, most of. Most of them have international uh, uh, degrees, like Stanford, like Harvard, like uh, Chinese Peking and the Tsinghua universities. This is uh, uh, their uh, profile, and uh, uh, I, I, I know my partners from Stanford. Finally, I, I can give you a, uh, an answer why we called our Self blue elephant is because uh, elephants have many similarities with ad tech startups. First, uh, it takes it takes time for for an uh, ad techs to grow larger, and is it, it, 
the elephant has a very longer pregnant uh, uh, time. And the second, the, the elephant is long, long life animals. It's like is it, it, it the the oldest uh, uh, elephant aged eighty four. And the blue means tech. Uh, so we feel that uh, technology is the only way to uh, improve education and provide education for all the people. And also uh, elephants are social animals and we feel that ad tech entrepreneurs should not be segregated. They should gather together and do something together. Uh, this is our mission and vision, uh, empower education entrepreneurs and we hope we can impact a billion people worldwide. Okay, I am Bill from Blue Elephant China. Thanks, Bill. Next company is Kuaishou Education. Kuaishou is one of the world's largest short video and live streaming applications. I would like to ask Aragon Lee, the operation director from Kuaishou Education, to do the company demo. Thank you, Joy. I'm honored to be invited to our conference today and share something about our platform, Kuaishou. Thanks to the popularization of 4G and the portable electronic device, Kuaishou has gained more than billions of users worldwide over the past eight years and become a leading video sharing webcasting platform in China, even in the world. For now, I would like to share some key points. The DAU of Kuaishou have 300 million in the Chinese market this year. What is more worth mentioning is that we have deeply realized that short videos have more effective on lowering the standards of record, production, and consumption compared with graphic, television, and video media. For example, everyone can record their real life and observe the world through short videos. You can see that over 200 million people are content producing here. That is to say, on average, one in seven Chinese share videos in this platform. And 50 million short videos are uploaded here every day, which is very proud data because of active productions and recording, as well as the trust relationship between us and the users. The achievement of Kuaishou today can be attributed to the values we have always adhered to. We have always been upholded in quality, truth, and goodness. We hope to be like a connector so that every ordinary people can be seen by more people and also hope everyone can see a wide world for us online platform. The distribution of traffic is the direct embodiment of value or the underlying logic. The distribution of traffic in a community is just like the distribution of resources in a society. The allocation of resources will affect the happiness of people in a society. According to the logic of inequality, we give a certain amount of exposure to our videos. On the other hand, in order to make the entire community more active, we also have the corresponding video climbing and different types to allow high quality videos to get more traffic. Meanwhile, we also use a series of tools in economics, such as Gini coefficient to ensure the health of our entire community and prevent it from being much too centralized to fall into massive effect. That's why the videos in here are rather long term. At the ecological level, the special of question among other platforms is not only based on our values, but also more advanced technology support behind the landing of the values. Without the technical, sorry, without the technical assistance of in-depth learning, it's impossible to support such a large amount of video publishing and distribution. 
the analyze and the understanding of content here cannot rely on one single mode, like computer simulation or speech understanding. We need to integrate integrate a series of texts, audios, videos, and other and user behaviors to build different models and process high level understanding. The following is the technology of video recommendation. We consider it as the most important fact for short videos products that affect user experience. Therefore, Quasho is improved cutting edge technology aiming to establish a more effective connection between both short videos and the people through AI. Thanks to the techno techno sorry, thanks to the technical progress, we are always focused on exploring leading technologies and the leading position in this field. In the past few years and during the COVID 19, we have also made some new explorers and thoughts of educational inequality. Please let me introduce it in our, our sharing session later. Okay, thank you, Jill. Thanks, Aragon. Next company is Jiangmen Education, a leading online education unicorn in China. Let's welcome Jeremy Wu, the co founder of Jiangmen Education, to give us the presentation about his company. Hello everyone, I'm Jeremy Wu, the co-founder of Jama Education. It's a great honor to be invited to share with you about Jama's innovation and exploration on, in online education. Jama is a well-known online educator brand in China, focusing on providing high-quality online customized education services for children aged 3 to 18. The resistance students of our platform has ex uh, exceeded 40 million. That means we occupied nearly 80% on the online one-on-one -on -one tutor market share. Our uh, subsidiary brands, including Jiangmen one-on-one, Jiangmen Kid, and Jiangmen Online School, etc., etc., cover subject and the quality education. We are constructing a mature AI in all interactive teaching method. Technology is using for is used for connecting intelligent control. Such immersive interactive experience is making a great environment for effective studying. Jamun always stick to a principle that is the integration integration of AI and uh, education must solve critical problem. In the teaching process, through our exploration and uh, efforts, we have achieved the following scenarios. Smart evaluation, smart matching, learning planning, smart classroom, smart, smart homework, smart report. Etc. Let me illustrate with an example of the smart matching system. After several upgrades and uh, optimization, the system has become more precise. In the earlier states, we labeled both teachers and students, and then matched the teachers according to the needs of students and parents. But the preferences may be very subject subjective, and the matching results were not so satisfying. And now we will be able to achieve more accurate user understanding and matching through multi-dimensional, more detailed label and the data of our user character characteristics. We record and analyze the daily learning behavior data of students, provide students with dynamic, multi-dimensional, accurate, and all-round learning evaluation, so that the learning effect can be visualized, organized, and standardized. 
In addition to being a good tool for teachers and students in teaching, AI can also help us operate better. At present, Zhang Men has applied AI to many management scenarios, including standardized teacher management, intelligent super, uh, supervision, and uh, class scheduling. We can take a look at the interface of Zhang Men intelligent supervision system. Millions to tens of millions of new courses were generated on the platform every day. Manual inspect inspection is difficult to ensure the quality of teaching. So technical support is necessary. We use image and the voice recognition, data mining, and other technologies to analyze class behavior. Then the system can find abnormal classes and providing class quality reports to remind the teachers to standardize services. Teacher and student activity can also be monitored and displayed through this system. Jamun is adopting more from the internet because of the uprising of AI and 5G. We continue to increase investment in technological innovation from teaching hardware to virtual classroom Hope that our intelligent teaching system can be can bring more immersive experience in the future. Thank you. That's an awesome company demo. Thanks, Jeremy. Next company is called 101 Study, an education MCN. I would like to have Alex Ching, the founder and the CEO of 101 Study, to do the presentation of his company. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alex. I'm the founder and CEO of 101 Study. It's my great honor to introduce our company to all of you guys. 101 Study is an educational MCN. We help teachers to get fans on Douyin and Kuaishou. Douyin and Kuaishou are the biggest short video platforms in China, which are really popular among all the people. They have 700 million daily active users, which means 700 million Chinese people are watching short videos on these two platforms. So we think it's a huge market. We help teachers to get fans on these two platforms and we make them become internet celebrity teachers. We don't hire teachers, all the teachers are co-founders. We help them to become famous and then we share the income after that. So this is a whole new business model in China. In the summer of 2018, one night, I was having dinner with my friend. Suddenly he said, hey Alex, why don't you use Douyin? I said, no, I don't use it. He said, you have to use it. It's the most popular app among all the young people. A lot of people are watching videos on it. And I saw some English teachers there. You should go there and teach English and get some more fans. I said, okay, I'll try it. After that dinner, I downloaded a Douyin. I swiped, swiped, and swiped. Suddenly, I saw an English teacher. Her name is Emily. At that time, Emily only got 100,000 followers, and now she has over 6 million followers, and she can make several millions RMB a year. Douyin changed her life for the better. So short video platforms are great opportunities for all the teachers in China. They can get fans, they can become internet celebrities, they can make their life so much better. After a few weeks, I found our first foreign teacher on Douyin. I saw a very handsome dude. He was trying so hard to teach English, but seldom people give him likes so i asked my assistant to send him a message and invite him to come to my office his name is ergozi ergozi is a really funny chinese nickname it's just like donkey in english something like, like that the first time i met him i told him hey darby i'm going to get you one million followers darby is from canada and he said uh, okay, let's try it. 
<laughs> but I can tell from his facial expression, he didn't believe it. And then he left. The next time he came to my office, I made the first video for him. It got 300,000 likes. And the third time he came to my office, I made the second video for him. And that video got over a million likes. After that, he sent me a message on WeChat and said, Alex, oh my god, you're amazing, you're my boss. He bought my story. Now, Darby is the most popular foreign teacher in China right now. He got over 7 million followers on Douyin and Kuaishou. He even got invited on CCTV, which is the biggest TV channel in China. He used to become a normal foreign teacher in an offline school, but now he's an internet celebrity teacher in China. In the spring of 2019, some of the teachers started to do the live broadcasting on Douyin and they sell courses by live broadcasting to their fans. One day, it was near 12 p.m., one of the teachers sent me a message and said, Hey, bro, are you still awake? I want to call you right now. I said, uh, I'm still awake, but my baby is sleeping. He said, go to the living room. I have to call you right now. It's emergency. I said, all right. I went to the living room and he called me and said, hey, bro, guess how much money I make today? I said, okay, uh, 10,000? He said, no, 60,000. I was so surprised and asked, how did you make this happen? He said, I did a live stream broadcast on Douyin and I sold so many courses today. After that night, more and more teachers started to do the live broadcasting and start to sell courses on Douyin. At the end of 2019, I was invited to Shenzhen to do a speech talking about how the short video platforms will change the future of China's education. When I was preparing for the slides, I went on Douyin and searched a name, Fan Deng. Fan Deng used to work in CCTV as a host. Now he's teaching people how to read. I saw all his accounts and he got over 80 million followers. I was totally shocked. He used to be part famous in first tier and second tier cities, but short videos made him China famous. And you wouldn't believe that his company got over 1 billion RMB's income by selling reading membership. And the membership was cheap. It's only 365 RMB. I was so excited at that night. I think the opportunity is here. The timing is perfect. So I decided to come to Beijing. If there could be one fandom on short video platforms, there could be 100, even 1,000 fandom in the future. I could still remember the first day I came to Beijing. I wrote a slogan for 101 study. 让普通家庭的孩子接受更好的教育. In English, it means better education and not only for the rich families. But now in China, all the online education companies are too expensive. Students have to pay over 10,000 RMB a year. It's too expensive. Not all the family can afford it. In my opinion, online education means better teachers, means better content, but lower price. It's not right right now. All the bigger companies, they spend most of the money on marketing. You wouldn't believe that. They spend 5 billion RMB on marketing during the summer vacation 2020. 101 study will try our best to find more and more excellent teachers. We'll help them to become internet celebrity teachers. We'll help them to become China famous teachers. And we'll try our best to lower the price of online education. And I do believe we can make it. Thank you very much. Thanks, Alex. Now, last but not least, let's welcome Phyllis Zhang, the Vice President of Class Inc. to do a company demo. 
Classroom is the world's most interactive online teaching platform. And also, I would like to give special thanks to Classroom because Classroom is the online meeting platform we are using as of now for our company demo session. Hi, I'm Phyllis. I'm the vice president from Classing. It's my great pleasure today to share with you our story. Before I move ahead, I want to thank ASU GSV for choosing Classing as an online platform for today's sessions. Yes, right now we are using Classing for the company demo. Okay, let's move ahead with our story. Classing was founded six years ago in Beijing. When we founded, we believe in the online education so much. But we didn't find out any online teaching tool designed for education at that time. People were using online conferencing tools or instant messages for online classes. We know we need a sophisticated and professional online teaching tool, which is designed for education directly. That's why we built up a classing. We want to build up an interactive and a professional online teaching tool to empower educators to teach and online classes and as effective as offline. So you can find out we spent the first two years for internal product development, another one year to pilot the classing with the leading players in the market. So in 2017, we officially and launched classing to the market. You can find out just one year's time and the 5,000 schools and institutions and subscribe for our service. Now in 2020, and over 60,000 institutions and schools from 150 countries are using our service. And every month we get 20 million and students and teachers are learning on classing across the world. Why classing could grow so fast and within a few years time? I think there are gonna be a few reasons here. First is the capacity. Right now classing could support at most 2,000 students in one classroom which means and a classing could meet the different needs and from the school directly. So they could use one tool for all the purposes. Second is a global access and a stability. Right now we have servers across the world and to ensure all our users and their connection latency less than 300 milliseconds. The third one gonna be the teaching tools. Classing offer varieties of teaching tools to meet teachers need when they conduct different types and the different subjects online with the classing. The last part is also a very important part, is about the data. I think right now, classing is the only tool which collects online learning and the classes, learning and the teaching behavior data and the feedback direct to the school for the personalized and the design. So this is gonna be the future also for the schools and the institutions. So who are using classing right now in the global market? Classing and right now is trusted by the leading organizations across the world and in all the education sectors. Means and we have clients and from the after school tutor market to K top schools and to higher education. Let me give you a few examples. For example, we have Pearson and Oxford University Press. They are using classing for their online teacher training. We have British Council which use classing and for the online else oral test. And also the leading ad tech companies are using classing for the online tutoring services. Also the schools and the universities across the world are using classing on directly to keep the learning online. After my short and uh, sharing, and I want to invite Michael, who is our vice president for education, to share more for, from the academic side how he likes the classing. Hi, I'm Michael Epstein, vice president of education at Class N. I've been part of the education industry in China for nearly 20 years. Over that time, I have had the opportunity to work with the classroom platform as a teacher, a curriculum developer, and an administrator. As a teacher, I love Classin's dynamic and interactive online classroom. As a curriculum developer, Classin gives me the power to create a wide variety of learning experiences and courseware to support students and teachers in engaging with, representing, and expressing knowledge, as well as allowing me to use most common file types directly in the classroom space, such as PPTs and PDFs. Finally, as an administrator, I value ClassIn's security and powerful backend system. When my school uses ClassIn, 
I know that my students and teachers will have no trouble finding their virtual classroom and they'll be able to enjoy a learning experience free from uninvited guests. Hi, Michael, could you give us an example how classing works? Phyllis, I would love to. Let's drop in on Central University School of Finance and Economic Summer Session, where we can see class in action as Professor Islam teaches his students about practical knowledge of R in the field of finance. Klassen recognizes that learning is inherently social and collaborative. Students and teachers need to be able to interact not only with content, but with each other. We can see this in Professor Islam's classroom, as he and his students not only speak to each other, but also collaborate on the Blackboard with a multitude of tools to illustrate concepts and puzzle out problems as they learn how to model R, just like they would in an offline classroom. Additionally, text, images, and documents on the Blackboard appear in real time, so the flow of learning is not interrupted by a lag between input and on-screen output, or by repeatedly having to check that students can see what the teacher is seeing as the teacher tabs between documents on the local desktop. Furthermore, students have multiple means to communicate with the teacher and with each other in ways that don't disrupt the classroom, like raising their virtual hands and typing questions and comments into the classroom chat, so that the teacher can manage communication and interaction to guarantee that they support, rather than disrupt learning. Classen also realizes that every classroom has its own unique needs. Teachers and students can seamlessly share their screen directly in the classroom space such as how Professor Islam is doing here to teach his students how to use financial modeling software to code and compile financial modeling functions. Even while the screen is being shared, teachers and students are able to interact, keeping students engaged in the classroom and providing a truly collaborative learning experience. In a classroom classroom, there is no back of the classroom. Students can quickly be brought on stage and down into the Blackboard space to take the lead and express themselves. This translates to a student-centered classroom with diverse opportunities for students to engage not only with the teacher, but with each other, and in doing so, reap the benefits of peer learning. Also, as students interact with the content, the teacher, and with each other, the teacher has multiple means for assessing students' progress enabling them to adapt and personalize learning, just like in the traditional offline classroom. Although in the past year, education has faced many challenges due to COVID-19 and is likely to continue to face further challenges in the foreseeable future, Class in is there to help students and teachers and administrators meet these challenges. Classen's learning platform empowers online education. With Classen, online education need not be a make-do substitute for an offline classroom. Instead, Classen allows you to provide an online experience that stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with any offline education experience, delivering the same levels of engagement, interaction, and learning efficacy that the best in offline education can provide. Finally, after the COVID crisis has passed, Class will continue to empower education, supporting you and your institution in educating your students wherever they may be. Class in, empowering students, empowering teachers, empowering education worldwide. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much and for sharing, Michael. Thank you. Thanks, Phyllis. Well, that concludes all the company demos for this session. If you are interested in getting more information about any one of the companies, you should be able to find the speaker's contact information from ASUGSD website. Once again, thank you so much for being with us. Bye.